what's up welcome back to the channel i know it's been a while i used to do a lot of try on hauls i used to do collective haul not that much collective hauls but i definitely did a lot of try on hauls and unboxing and stuff like that in the title of this video today we have a collective haul it's been a while since i've done a video like this but i have been shopping a little crazy and from before if you guys see my hauls that i do i do a lot of fast fashion um hauls but i feel like i've grown so much like i'm 26 now yeah. so i've been like slowly moving away from fast fashion companies and stuff you guys know i used to do the pretty little thing the fashion over the boohoo hauls where i get a whole bunch of stuff for like 600 dollars but when i say i don't have any of those stuff i have to give them away or trash them because the quality is just crap yeah and so I've been kind of revamping my closet, getting some really good quality stuff and also thrifting. I feel like that's a way to still get like pretty good quality stuff without having to buy new or having to go through fast fashion to get that. Um, I'm not a super thrifter, but my little sister is and she's been like inspiring me to do secondhand items. So I think we're going to do the clothes first and then we're going to go into like the accessories. So let's get started so the first piece i have here is this long sequence green skirt with ostrich feather you guys know ostrich feathers been in i think for like a year or so and people have been going crazy over it and it's literally on everything and i love it do not stop keep giving me the ostrich feathers i want it i want it um so this specific um skirt is actually from hanifa and when I saw this, I think this is, yeah, this is from the new collection that dropped recently. So I had to pick it up because I really do love her stuff. I also bought something else, but I don't think I bought it downstairs. But this skirt, y'all, I don't know where I'm going to wear this to, but I cannot wait. And I've been getting into like long skirt because before I only want to wear short skirts, okay? Like short shorts. But lately, like I said, like, young girls growing up, like, I love the sexiness, but, um, like, modest sexy. Don't get me wrong. I could be a little hoochie and stuff like that, but I like, what, what are you doing? What? What I'm is your motivation reason? motivating you. Motivating me. I was doing just fine without you. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I love the modest but yet very sexy and i feel like this is what this is giving me i did get this in a size small and it fits actually really nice um i was gonna go medium because shorty i'm packing something in the back okay it is super long on me so i definitely have to wear this with heels i mean who will wear this and not wear it with heels and most of the stuff that i'm showing you guys today are from um small black owned businesses and i think they're just amazing so i love that i'm able to support them and they create really fabulous stuff like the everyday woman so yeah so the next piece i have here is this dress it's a leather dress it's beautiful dramatic and i've been actually eyeing this dress for a while and if you guys know or don't know but if you follow me on instagram then you know this is from Kai Collective. The designer is incredible. Her style, honestly, I, I take a lot of inspo from her style because I think she's just so good at putting things together. And just her whole like business mind, um, I really admire. So this is one of my recent pieces that I picked up from her. And I'm gonna put like a little video here. I styled my little sister um, in this and I just love it. I cannot wait to actually wear it myself. I'm going to DC soon and i think i'm going to take this with me so i can wear it i'm so excited for it um and i also got this in the size let me make sure i also got this in a size small um and it fits really nice so it's like loose so if you're like about my size i'm pretty much a medium but some items i can get a small the next piece i got is also from kai collective and it's this beautiful colorful dress this is a mesh material um and it's just super long this is from her new collection that she literally dropped i had to get my hands on it 
I don't know what I'm gonna wear with, how I'm gonna style it yet, but I was like, I just knew I need to have this in my collection and I'm glad I picked it up. Um, and I think I got this, what's this that I picked this up? Yeah. Ooh. I think, oh yeah, I actually picked this up in a medium, but I think I could have gotten away with a small just because it stretches a lot. So a small would have been better, but I'm still gonna keep the medium. I don't think it really shows much of a difference, but it is beautiful. But I have three more pieces of like um, clothing that I'm going to show you guys, and they're all from the same designer. And so this first piece right here is from Randall, and it's actually made in Nigeria. Look how gorgeous this is! Like the detail on this. And I'm not even gonna lie, the price on this stuff too are really, really reasonable. Cause when I was telling my sister how much this stuff cost me, she was like, that's all? Cause if this was in America, if this was in America, then I'm going to a wedding um, this month. So I have a few of her pieces that I'm like, I don't know which one to like wear on the wedding um, because they're all so beautiful item. So the next one that I have here is actually a two-piece set. It's a corset top. And let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all something. Do not play with Nigerian designers and tailors because they snap. When it comes to like creating corset, Nigerian designers eat. They eat all the girls up. I sent some fabric to Nigeria for them to make me a birthday outfit because here it's not cut in it. And so we have the top. It's a corset and I believe this was like custom made to my size. So it fits really nice. I don't think I've ever had a corset that like fits my boobs perfectly and like my waist and everything. And this does. Um, and I just love how like reflective the fabric is and then we get to the pants the pants is the drama okay yeah so one side of the pants has all of this like pleats going all the way down um and the other one is solid but it's just like so nice and creative and different <sighs> i think she did custom make this for me but i might have given her the wrong measurement so i have to go in and get it um tailored a bit more so moving on to the last piece that i got from randall is this one this is one of my favorite when i put this on y'all i was like i don't want to take this off but look at the color wave and the hand is very very like unique it's like i don't know what you call this kind of hands but i've been seeing it a lot um in fashion lately and i've been really loving it and it is super long so i'm like debating which one to wear to the wedding but i cannot wait i am going to kind of take these into the tailor and get it like you know really fit it to my body because i mean your girl got a bbl so that's just a struggle you know what i mean things like that so moving on to the casual stuff i don't really have a lot i just have like two items to show you guys and they're both denim so the first one here are these jeans that i got and when i say i am in love with these jeans i'm surprised i'm not even wearing it every single day but i need to these are the Mouclair jeans and when i saw this on the website farfetch is like the place that i like to go to fat farfetch and my teresa i feel like they always have like the unique pieces I just like kind of like the details of the jeans it was super long I did have to get it altered so I got it shorter and I also got it taken in on the waist to fit my waist because it was a little too big for me I cannot so the next piece I got is actually something that I recently got I haven't worn it yet but like I said I'm going to DC so I might wear it when I go to DC um it's basically this denim skirt and yes baby it's not just a denim skirt y'all yeah, know i'm dramatic as heck um so it's basically like this okay 
it's like a wrap around and then it drops um and this is from the bread diesel i feel like diesel is making its comeback and yeah i'm kind of one of those people that is kind of pressed for it i've been going on the diesel website and looking on farfetch and my teresa to just see if they have something new every single time um but this was my recent pick from them and i cannot wait to wear this to style this okay so those are basically all the like clothes that i got so now let's move on to accessories so like bags and shoes it's mostly oh wait <gasps> Wait hey guys, I forgot. I have one more dress I have to show you guys. I forgot this dress because it is actually still in the box. I've been eyeing it for a long time and I finally decided, just do it, Shalom. Just do it. This is from the brand Indigo Studio. And they had this green dress and lately i've been really obsessed with green i think since like we'll take a king out with their color and their color just started trending i have not been able to take my eyes off of green it's been like an obsession so when i saw this dress the color was calling my name the style of the dress everything about the dress was like buy me please and yes i did hold up y'all hold up hold up look at her look at her do you guys see the sleeves do you see do you see her like honestly i have more than enough option of what i'm gonna wear on that wedding day that makes this officially all the clothes that i have gotten so now let's move on to the accessories i think we're gonna go ahead and start off with bags so one of the bags I got this year, I've been eyeing it again for so long, been trying to get it and it's always out of stock, like always out of stock. And I first saw this bag on Melissa wardrobe and I just fell in love with it and the way that she styled it was so many different looks. I felt like when she got the bag too, she was wearing it every day. And but when I say every look that she did with that bag was so different and was so nice that I was like, I need this bag in my life. I need it. If I had this bag, I would never need any bag ever again. And so this is the Zebra Bottega bag. And I've honestly been like really loving Bottega because they're not so like logo mania. All this stuff is not like, this is Bottega, but you know, you know it's Bottega. So I finally got it. I've been like putting myself on the wait list every single time and when they notify me that it's available i get on the website it's gone so i got lucky one day when i got a notification and i was like you know how when you, you want to buy something especially when it's kind of pricey you finally get the notification you're just like oh, should i do it should i wait this time i was like yeah i've been waiting for way too long take my money i don't care if it's out of my budget for this month take it right now i need it so i've been really like obsessing over this i do not regret it it is probably one of my favorite favorite bags that i own right now and just different in my closet it has like the texture and all of that so i really really do like it i do wish i could wear it every single day okay so the next bag that i got um i got this a few months ago i actually posted it on my instagram but this is from the brand caprini love their stuff and i also have shoes that actually go with this um but i love their bags i think it's quite unique and i love like the two tones so you're getting like one bag no, i'm sorry you're getting two bags in one so you know if you want to match it with the pink side you can or if you want to match it with the green side you can so they do have um few of their bags that do come in two tones and some of them are solid color and i decided you know what let me do this because i actually do not own any pink bags at all and so that has been like my goal to find some pink bags and some red bags so um speaking of red bags the next bag i'm gonna show you guys is actually my first ever red bag i do not own any red bags or pink and this was my first red bag 
and it is actually a pre-owned um, Gucci bag that I found on Farfetch. Yes, I found it on Farfetch and like I said, I was in a hunt for a red bag and this was what caught my eyes and I like the fact that it was pre-owned so it wasn't costing as much. Well, I actually don't know what the original price of this is because it is vintage Gucci um, but I really do like it. I just like love the details of the lock here in the front. So welcome to the bag collection. You are the first red. Remember that, okay? I have two more bags that I got from Colt Jaya. Is it Gaia or Gia? I usually say Gia, called Gia, but I think some people say called Gaia. So anyway, so I got two bags and um, let's go ahead and open them. I haven't used this bag yet. So the first one here is actually finally a pink bag. Can you believe it? <laughs> so I picked up this bag like i said i don't have anything pink in my closet but i feel like this is not fully giving you pink and it's sparkly and i wanted something sparkly because i feel like all my stuff has been kind of like solid and stuff so i wanted something with a bit of character so it does have a strap oh yeah i love how the strap is like short because i didn't want it to be long but i didn't know when I got it, I didn't, I didn't open it because I couldn't figure out how to open it. So it's the first time we're opening the bag. And this bag, this is a bag I've been eyeing too. And I'm finally glad I have it in my hands. I actually got something like that from Gaia before. But the hands were like a little tricky for me. So I decided to like return it because I was getting really frustrated with the hands. Because it's like really weird holding it. I mean, not this one, the other one. So I was like, yeah, no, let me return it. But then they made like a different version that is just pretty much all around circle. Um, and it's this like pearl um, bag. And at first I was like, what can I put in here? But I can put everything that I pretty much need. So like if I'm going out, if I need my lip gloss, uh, my powder, my powder does fit in here. Um, and my ID and a card. I'm done if it's so I'm glad that I picked this up this is definitely something I'm going to be taking to DC with me for the wedding um because I just feel like it's it is given you know like a cute wedding bag to carry so I will be taking this with me she is gorgeous gorgeous I'm going to cherish her with my life because I know if she falls she won't break I told you guys I did have shoes that were matching the Caperni bag and this is it i got them um at the same time and the shoes was actually on sale when i got it um personally i love it and it is like kitten heels but i love it i'm not gonna lie to you guys like i really really like kitten heels now um because like on days that i don't want to fully have a heels on i can have this on and they could just still elevate my outfit um without me being in like four or like five inch heels i can just have this on and i can have it for the entire day okay moving on to the last shoes and also the last item it is from hanifa you guys i do really like hanifa i told y'all so these ones are actually boots i haven't worn them out yet but i did get the boots I think it's so gorgeous the detail of the boots right in the front is different i haven't seen that and i really really do love this color because i don't have any color like this even in like my regular heels i don't so this is the first um and i just really like it and again i think this might be i don't know how many inches is this maybe three it might be like three inches but i don't think it's fully four inches I did get it in the size 39, which is a 9. Um, I think I recently figured out that I'm not a size 8. All my life, I believed that I was a size 8. That's why I've been suffering. That's why I got those little corns on my um, little pinky toes. Because I've been wearing a size that was way too small for me. And I realized a 9 was actually my size, y'all. 
so technically all the shoes I got now. Um, so technically most of the shoes I had, um, I had to like let them go. So now I've just been buying size nine and they just feel so much better. I feel like I can be in my heels for way longer than before. Cause before I'd be like, why does it hurt so bad? But now not so much. So yeah. It still smells so new. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for today's video. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. It does help my channel. And it also helps to make sure that you guys I get it notified when I post new videos. Um, if you enjoy the collective haul, let me know in the comment section down below. I am going to have all of the links of the items I showed you guys today so you don't have to worry where you can go find them just check the description bar down below and it's gonna be there um, and I'm also going to be putting some of my themes I actually have some stuff on of my themes on vestier and I also have some stuff on Depop that I'm trying to get rid of so if any of you guys are interested I'm going to have those link also in the description bar down below and later on I might have some of my stuff on the real real so when I do that, I'm going to let you guys know um, the link for it. Just because I'm trying to clear out my closet, especially stuff that I feel like I buy and I have not used. I cannot keep buying because I do not want to be a hoarder. I need to let them go and then invite some new girls in. You know what I mean? Things like that. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to always be your own kind of beautiful. Bye!